I love it here in, on Los Rios Street. Um, I never get over the feeling of, of walking uh, around Los Rios Street. It, it almost sends chills uh, up and down my spine uh, because it's such a magical place. We have boutiques and restaurants along with our historical buildings. We're so lucky here to live in San Juan uh, that is so unique in that uh, we've been able we've been able to preserve so much of our our um, our buildings and um, our history and, and thankfully so. We're really proud of the new team here at City Hall. We've brought in an executive staff from all over the region. Uh, we have a new planning director, public works director, assistant city manager, and all the way down the line. Um, uh, very talented people uh, within local government, and they've been a great addition to the existing team here at San Juan that's very strong. Over the past year, we've filled about 25 vacancies, and we're starting to become an employer of choice in Orange County. So what we're seeing is when we do a recruitment, we're having over 100 applicants for, uh, for a certain position. That's really a testament to the organization and the council's leadership, and uh, it has been a great mesh both with our new and existing staff to uh, serve the community. Under the council's leadership, we're looking forward to working with the business community and residents to build on our success in 2017. We started as a very small garden. We then built garden programming with the Boys and Girls Club and then that garden program called Grow Your Own rippled into 50 school gardens throughout the region. Every one of our San Juan schools have an organic garden because of the Ecology Center. Where that garden program is going is that we're mentoring garden leaders throughout Southern California. So the Ecology Center helps hold space for the leaders of nonprofits, the leaders of schools, the administrators of districts to imagine what it looks like to build an ecology center everywhere. That's our big plan for 2017 is taking the ecology center, the idea of San Juan Capistrano, the heart and soul of it, and pushing it into schools and communities beyond San Juan Capistrano. Our big picture beyond that is to work towards building a barn as a community center and hopefully ultimately growing more food and modeling community through agriculture as our footprint will inevitably, hopefully, grow. We're thrilled to have the signal finally going in at Rancho Viejo Road and Via Spea. Uh, it's been quite a while coming, but the council has been so wonderful working with us. It's a completely safety issue uh, for the students at St. Margaret's, for the seniors in the neighborhood, for the drivers, and we look forward to it becoming operational next month. We have businesses over there, um, Bravo Burger and the pharmacy, Bad to the Bone, which a lot of our seniors go across to eat there. And that's why that signal's been so important that they don't get hit by cars that zoom by there so fast. So we're very grateful for the signal because we fought for it for a long time. So we thank the council and the mayor and all of them for helping us with that. Well, it was, it was amazing uh, down in, in Rio. It was certainly something that uh, uh, we prepared for for four years leading up to it. To get the silver medal um, with the group of riders that we had was unbelievable. And it, it was amazing the reception that we got back here because, I mean, this wasn't just uh, the medal for us, but uh, we've believed for years and years uh, the equestrian tradition here in San Juan Capistrano it dates back to the Olympic trials in 2000, 2004, 2008. And it was truly a national effort. And so many riders that have competed here on this Grand Prix field in San Juan were part of that team in Rio. What we really look forward to are the development of the young horses, the young riders that are gonna be our stars of tomorrow competing here on this world-class field in San Juan. This June, Mission San Juan Capistrano will debut a heritage brand identity newspaper that hits all the households and businesses in San Juan Capistrano. The idea behind the newspaper is actually we're gonna just celebrate what makes San Juan Capistrano's downtown special. The nonprofits, the historic buildings, and the great businesses and restaurants. I hope you all will join me in opening up our new newspaper and coming downtown and supporting everything that makes this place home.
We're always excited to be the home of the Swallows for San Juan Capistrano's history. And this March 19th, we'll be celebrating their return with a flyover over the mission with vintage aircraft. We hope the community will join us to watch the great historic aviators uh, join us and also to celebrate the return of the Swallows Day Parade, which happens the weekend after. San Juan Capistrano Mission is going to be the major sponsor this year, and we're thrilled on behalf of that because it ushers in a whole series of events throughout the summer, which really brings to light just how vibrant historic downtown is. There's so many special reasons that, that this property is so special and unique to our Native American community, our Juanenio Ahashman community. Um, this is an ancient village site. It's a mother village of our people. Um, and it was a large village. Um, and it was a thriving village. It was a village that offered us everything that we wanted as a hunting and gathering people. Um, there was plenty of water, plenty of fish, plenty of game, plenty of the natural foods that we ate were all abundant on this land. And we thrived here. We didn't need anything more. The Petitum Village concept and the here at the Northwest Open Space has been under planning for many, 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 many years. As a matter of fact, it predates even the, the concept of the Northwest Open Space. Our involvement as the committee that you're seeing now, which there are about nine or ten of us, has been, um, has been working together for about two years now. We've had many, many meetings here on site. We've had many meetings at the City Hall. We've had meetings privately in private homes. So it's a accumulation of perhaps 15 years work and the last two years has been very intense. We've, uh, we've had a lot of support from um, the city council and the staff and we wouldn't be here uh, where we are now without them and the help of the staff. This park is going to be a wonderful asset for our community, for San Juan, and for all of Orange County. We're going to invite families and children and field trips to come and learn about the culture and our history. And it's going to be part of the fabric of the area. We have the Mission, we have Los Rio Street, and this is going to be a really important asset to, for people to understand where San Juan Capistrano came from. It's going to have amenities with uh, picnic areas and bath restrooms and trails for our equestrians to come and, and visit as well. So we're just really excited about this and, and look forward to it being completed. Our family decided to um, acquire the Egan House when it became available for purchase. Um, we were very excited when it came on the market. Um, we, we were negotiating in uh, November and December of 2015 and uh, from there decided to move forward with the purchase. Um, and as many people know, our family has a, um, a passion for historic preservation and restoration. Um, and as you can see today, it's, it's really turned out great. And uh, we're confident that it's, Egan House is in the best condition that it's been in um, for decades. Achieving final listing on the National Register of Historic Places was no easy feat. It took about a year and a half of persistence to get it listed. And uh, it wouldn't have been possible without Ilsa Burns. So I definitely want to thank Ilsa for her efforts. Uh, to get it listed and we're very proud to have Egan House officially listed on the National Register. Ellie's Table is a homemade uh, bakery. Everything is made fresh every day and they're made from recipes that have been passed down from Eleanor Mastriani who's the matriarch of the family. And as we started to learn more about Ellie's Table and kind of their love for history, their love for preservation and just their family, you know, close-knit family they have, we began to realize that they were a perfect match for Egan House. The youth and the adults in San Juan Capistrano have been trying to get a skate park for, for many years. I've got documentation showing back to 2007 for a needs assessment for the recreational facilities and the skate park was high in that. We tried to get a, a grant in 2008 and again in 2011 and we were not able to get it. But we're moving forward now and it will happen. I really think this skate park will really help San, the city of San Juan Capistrano. First of all, where it's planned and where it's set up here in uh, the sports park. We have Kenoshita right over here, Marco over here, Boys and Girls Club, centrally located. Buses are really cool, but they say a skate park really benefits the city in a lot of different levels that you uh, might not think of. Uh, might reduce crime, kids have a place to go. There's, a, there's somewhere this can help a lot of kids in my town. As we move forward in this effort, uh, we ask you to join in and, and help get this project built. I think it's a great opportunity to join San Juan and having a skate park 
for everybody to use. Well, the, the main reason we're excited about bringing the trolley back to San Juan uh, was the excitement that it uh, delivered to us in, in 2015. It was a pilot program, uh, it was uh, creative, it was uh, very organic, it was implemented a few months before the summer season. Uh, we saw some of the exciting things that other beach communities were doing. We know that San Juan Capistrano is a, is a destination city and uh, we wanted to see if we could uh, feed off of that energy from some of our local municipalities. The trolley service uh, for 2017 is going to build off some of the lessons we learned in 2015. Uh, two of the main components were continuity in the service and uh, connecting to our neighboring city south of us in Dana Point. Uh, this summer we'll be able to do that. We think we'll be able to uh, provide uh, a positive service, a positive experience for our residents and going to our neighboring communities, but also those visitors that want uh, to spend time here in San Juan Capistrano. The great thing about this 2.4 acres is it's going to be a place for people to come together to share their animals and get to enjoy all that San Juan Capistrano has to offer. There's so much rich heritage and history in this town and a lot of it revolves around our ranching and riding history and we really look forward to the chance to have this group uh, come together and really bring forth the amazing community that we have and share that with the outside world as they come in to hopefully participate in some of the cool activities we'll be hosting um, from equestrian clinics and trail rides uh, to horse shows and much more. What I love about the San Juan Capistrano equestrian community is the passion that so many people have for the equestrian ambiance. We have 52 miles plus of trails, we have the mission, we have five or six different stables, and we all come together as a community. It's part of our history. And that's what I think is so important to have in San Juan and to enhance that history. So that's what I really love, the passion of the equestrians in this community. It brings a lot of people together. You know, the concept behind Trevor's at the Tracks is locally acquired and globally inspired. We didn't want to pigeonhole the cuisine into a certain uh, type. We wanted to make it broad enough and have international flavors with locally sourced ingredients. So I'm standing in front of our living wall that we put together. Uh, it's a hydroponic system that uses and recycles water, nutrient rich, all organic. Uh, we also have our raised garden bed around the corner that produces all of our vegetables. Uh, it's not gonna sustain our restaurant entirely, but we're utilizing whatever we can in a sustainable fashion to provide organic fruit and vegetables for our patrons in the kitchen and in the bar. Growing up in Laguna Niguel, I never thought I'd have an opportunity to be a part of a community in this sense, and we're so fortunate to have landed this location for Trevor's at the Tracks, adjacent to the train tracks in the, one of the most historical jewels of San Juan Capistrano. We're happy to be here and looking forward to making a new chapter in the history of San Juan. Art and I started Homefront America in July of 2005, and we actually surveyed our troops. We asked them, you know, if we had $1,000, how would you like to, us to uh, spend that money? And every one of them said, please take care of our families at home. It's nice to have the care packages and the things for us, but if you take care of our kids, it will give us the peace of mind to focus on the mission. Several years ago, Art and I had the opportunity to visit a field, a field of honor. And the sight of rows and rows of American flags standing seven feet tall, all these three by five flags just fluttering in the breeze really just took my breath away. I was so touched by the sight and the inspiring feeling that was just inside of me that by the time we walked off the field, I said to Art, we have to bring this to San Juan Capistrano. To me, the flag means freedom, happiness, honor, love of country, and just everything from my heart. I am a patriot, and I believe in this nation. I strongly believe that the flag represents this nation, and that's it with me.